Um, I'd like to welcome Mariana. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Nadine, for, for presenting me. My name is Mariana. Let me just, can you do it? Where did it go? So today I'm going to talk a, lot of, a little bit about my thoughts around culture. So the first image I put up there, I put it there because I want to show the boxes, the boxes where we put it, people in every day. As social workers, we see these boxes and the work we do all the time. So when someone's sitting in front of us, we sometimes put them in the agent box. Does that mean we know who's sitting in front of us? We put them in the Hispanic box. Does that mean we not, now know the background of this person? Well, the reality is that the Asian person could come from Thailand, China, Japan. The Hispanic person could come from Costa Rica, Mexico, Ecuador. These are all different countries. They're all different cultures. So as social workers, we will be serving immigrants from all over the world, especially in New York City. There, and even in this building, we interact with people from different countries and with different cultural backgrounds every day. And we, we, we need to be aware of that. The truth is, that is, it is many times easier to put someone in a box than to explore who they are, what their cultural background is. We want to be able to define, count, describe, systematize. However, there are things we just need to explore, especially if we want to meet people where they are. Throughout these four years living in this country, I have, I have been faced being inserted in a box many times. When I am asked where you're from, and I say from Mexico, certain assumptions start to happen. People think I like salsa, salsa music, I know how to dance, I love tacos. Some of the things may be true, some may not be. But this is what it automatically is thought about Mexican culture. But there is so much more to culture. And culture affects our day-to-day -day lives and the way we view the world. Growing up in a different culture than the one I live in now makes culture so much more evident. I remember my first, when I moved to the States and I started working, and going to, to work the first month, one of my coworkers was sick, and I asked her, oh, you, you look like you're not feeling well. You look kind of sick. And she took this, a, a little bit like as an offense. And when I had said this in Spanish in Mexico, this was a, sh a way to show empathy. So even though we were speaking the same language, what I was saying meant very different, different things. It meant dif something to her and something totally different to me. There are so many components to culture and language is one of them. We can understand culture through language. For example, in, the Arabic, in, in Arabic, there is no word for secular. So what does that mean to the, for their culture? Does that mean that the existence of, of God is not questioned? These are questions we can ask ourselves. And in Kenya, people say, I'm sorry, when something happens to another person. For example, working with a social worker there, every time a girl fell or came to the office and was sick, they would say, I'm sorry. When I drop my papers on the floor, they would say, I'm sorry. What does this mean? What does this mean for them? The more I learn about culture, the more I have been able to observe how much it impacts people's lives. Culture is very complex. It is for, formed by socioeconomic status, race, customs, for all those things there, and many more. So at the school, in the school, we talk a lot about cultural competency. But the, what does that really mean? How do we become culturally competent? Well, I think that being more aware of how our own culture impacts us in our day-to-day -day lives, and we become more open to understanding other people's cultures without judgment, without assumptions, and accepting differences, it's a way to start. There's no, there's no book or manual that's gonna explain, that suddenly you're gonna read and you're gonna be culturally competent. It's not like go right and then you're culturally competent. So 
what I just to end, I would say let's not put people in a box. Thank you.